Well, what is going on, YouTube? Welcome back to A Therapeutic Edge. Uh, first, before we do anything, I want to thank uh, Grateful Panic Knife Reviews. John sent along this knife for me to look at, and I am, well, very grateful for the opportunity. Uh, I, you know, as a knife reviewer and a knife collector, the opportunity to check out new things is always really cool. Now, this is new-ish, and what I mean by that is this is the Monterey Bay Knives Old Guard, but this is the Mini. Oh, little smudge on the blade. Now, I had the full size in for review, and oddly enough, I didn't love that knife. No, don't get me wrong, it is a great pocket knife. It just, I don't know, it just wasn't for me. And so when John offered the mini Old Guard, I was like, well, but here's what happened. This knife is, at least from my perspective as a user and a carrier and someone who sees a lot of knives, actually better, smaller. Don't panic, this is... Don't grateful panic. <laughs> Don't panic. This is still a therapeutic edge, and I still love, you know, big monster knives. But every once in a while, a design is just served better from being a little smaller. It's a little more comfortable. Uh, it suits the design a little better. And the Mini Old Guard is a really good example of that. Now, do I wish I had the full-size Old Guard here so I can make these comparisons to you that way? Of course, but I don't. So we'll stick with what we've got. The Mini Old Guard is M390. It has this, this one in particular, has got this just stellar raindrop, damas, uh, raindrop pattern carbon fiber, which is just beautiful. It is all titanium. Beyond that, it's got a very traditional Monterey Bay Knives clip. This one is wonderfully used. Uh, I love when a knife shows up to me that gets a ton of pocket time. This is one of those. And yet it still looks really good. It works really well. There's no blade play. There's no issues. The thumb studs are fantastic. This is a great pocket knife from the folks at Monterey Bay Knives. Um, and oddly, as I said, the smaller version here just works better, at least for me. Uh, it is a full, you know, comfortable four-finger grip. Lots of room on the blade for my thumb to land. You can hold it in any way that you want to, and it still cuts and works very well. Uh, this is just a design that happened to, at least from my perspective, work better smaller. So I'm really glad that I got a chance to look at this. And I'm also really sad that I missed the recent drop of the full titanium version of the Mini Old Guard here because, well, look, money is a real thing can't always buy the knives that I want, but I would have if I could have, and it's because John loaned this to me to check out. I know, John, I've had this for a while. It's coming home, I promise. So let's take a look at what you get. Well, as I mentioned, it's M390. It is a titanium build with this beautiful carbon fiber. There is no liner on the carbon fiber side, so it is reasonably light. It has a titanium backspacer, as I said, the Monterey Bay sort of traditional pocket lip they've decided to go with, which I like very much, although it could be a little deeper carry, that would be okay with me too. It is a frame lock. I know some of you don't love frame locks, but I do. So this is really good. And again, the action on those thumb studs is just out of this world. Let's take a look at what you get. You get uh, 2.9 inches of, yeah, right there. Just shy of three inches of cutting on three inches of M390. The grip area, now from behind the sort of choil, you know, right here, you get three and a quarter, but because my finger comes up over that line a little bit, you actually get, you know, just almost the full four inches, you know, three and three quarter inches of handle, which is, you know, just sort of perfect for me, right? Now, if you're worried about being forward on the blade, you do want to hold your hand back here. And if you do that, then I'm a, it's a little short for me. You can see my finger rolling off the back a little bit, but because of the way they've done this design, with just a little bit of sweep right here, it holds you right where you want to be, which makes this a smaller knife that just works exceptionally well. The swell at the tail end of the handle means that it, you get a really, really positive grip on it. <laughs> this is a great knife. The knife overall, what are we going to come in at? Five, five, six. We are right at, what, seven inches? Yeah. Just at 7 inches, which is a perfectly reasonable size of knife for most people. A little small for what I tend to lean into, but generally speaking, it is a good size knife. Let's go ahead and do some size comparisons. Here it is against the um, Bug Out, which is longer 
but with the same blade. So the bug out, you end up with a little more handle, which is why the bug out works so well for large hands. But you don't end up with more cutting, and of course you don't get M390. And let's check out the blade stock. As you can see, the bug out has, oh, excuse me, there we are, considerably thinner blade stock, right? Um, and yet, let's get that out of the way, because of the grind on the mini old guard here with just a little bit of flat here at the top, it's essentially a full flat grind on a taller blade. This thing comes down to a very, very nice edge. It's just a joy to use. It's very little billboarding on the blade, almost none in fact, just the Monterey Bay Knives logo right there, which is superb. Let's see, what can we show that's a bigger knife? Well, here it is. Sorry, this has been on the table for a while. Here it is against the uh, full size Adamas. Yeah, it. This is basically a spare tire for the full-size Adamas, which is how I, you know, look, if I was going to go out and I need, you know, I was going to be out in the wilderness for a while, I would definitely put this in my back pocket and keep the Adamas as my full-time user. Just because the M390 is stainless, it would be really good to have around the kitchen, it would be really good to have around wet stuff, um, whereas the crew wear, less so. So it's always good to have multiple tools. It is. I, I tend to carry one knife in my daily life. But when I'm out somewhere where there's more than one thing going on, I tend to carry a couple of knives. Uh, that way I have the tool for whatever the ha job happens to be in the moment. What else can we compare this against? What do we have on the table that's fun? Oh. Well, my goodness, I don't have a lot of knives on the table today. Uh, here it is against the uh, Rat Model 2. These are similar in size. Very similar in size, but I'll tell you something, and we've talked about this before. The Rat 2 is a small knife that does not work for me because of this shape. It forces my hand back off the knife in such a way that I either have to willfully come up much closer to the blade that I want to be to really get a positive grip on this thing, or I'm just constantly rolling off the tail end. Now, this knife costs... you could buy five of these for what this costs. I get that. These are about $180, $200. Uh, but, you know, just because a knife is smaller and looks like it's going to suit you doesn't mean that it will. And yet, the mini old guard <laughs> really works. I know I keep saying that. It's because when a small knife comes along that really works for me, it absolutely catches my attention and my imagination. It makes me pay attention. The mini old guard here is one of those. I'll say it again. Had I been a little more aware of what was going on, I would have had the money aside and I absolutely would have bought the full tie version of this. Not the big one, the small one when they came out. Because this is just an excellent pocket knife. Let's go ahead and weigh it. See where it falls in the scheme of things. Now, I know, it's interesting. I weigh knives because you guys like to know how much they weigh. But, you know, I carry the Adamas in, like, 5'11 shorts. I don't really care about pocket knife weight. It's not an issue for me. Uh, unless I am wearing, like, basketball shorts, in which case I do have a couple of lightweight knives. My jeans and my shorts are thick enough. And, of course, I wear a core belt. So my pants stay up even if I'm carrying a heavy knife in shorts. But a lot of people aren't like that. So let's see where this thing falls out. Uh, 3.6 ounces. For a, where were we, three, three inch blade. So it's a little over that ounce per inch that people like, but that would be because it is full titanium build. And there is, yeah, I mean, what are they going to do? Are they going to mill the carbon fiber on the inside? No, they can't do that. So the carbon fiber does bring the weight down. Um, but the full tie backspacer, all the stuff, yeah, 3.6 ounces. That is not an overly heavy knife. Let's get the uh, blade stock specs out of the way. You know, I keep closing this knife because I enjoy the action so much. I love snapping it open. All right, where are we? What is going on? Where are we? I'm lost. All right. Blade stock at its thickest spot just behind the, uh, there we go, 3.38 millimeters. The handle thickness is 11 millimeters, which is going to be, what, about a little under half an inch? Yeah, a little under half an inch. One of the really nice things about this knife is the closed profile. I mean, we're coming in, because of the blade swell there, we're coming in at an inch and an eighth. 
this thing eats up virtually no pocket. Right? It is really lean because it's thumb studs and no flipper. There's nothing to stab stuff in your pocket. It has a great, as I said, pocket clip. It's got lots of spring. It's very flexible, but not soft. This thing stays in the pocket very, very well. In short, this is another superb Monterey Bay Knives design. Um, Ray Laconico and those guys just know what they're doing. And this absolutely lives up to that. Uh, my suggestion, um, if you're going to hunt one of these, is follow them on Instagram because they tend to announce coming releases over there. I just happen to miss the full tie version of this. Um, look, for 200 bucks, you're going to be hard-pressed to find a better sort of small knife. And I, I know for a lot of you, this is a full-size knife. I apologize for that. But for me, this is a small knife. Uh, for 200 bucks, you're going to be hard-pressed to find a better small knife than this. You really are. It is fantastic. Anyway, thanks again, John. Uh, Grateful Panic. Uh, I will put a link to Grateful Panic Knife Reviews down in the, the description of this video. Please stop by and check him out. Uh, beyond that, we're going to move on. Thank you so much for your time today. I hope to see you next time. Take care.